I don't know whose idea it was to dress Shaggy up like some non-unionized body double from Eddie Murphy's Raw or Delirious or whatever you want to call it. Under the sea, under the sea, my ass. Let's talk about The Little Mermaid Live. Yo, what's up? I'm JD Nerd, and I'm going to go on ahead and get right into it. Yo, I just got a chance to check out The Little Mermaid Live and Under the Sea particularly. First of all, you got Shaggy coming out, and basically he ain't even got no crab costume. He's not no crustacean. He ain't no crab. He ain't nothing. He just Shaggy, dressed in red. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Yes, Such wonderful things around you. What more is you looking for? But look, at least they checked the box because he is Jamaican. So you actually got a Jamaican playing Sebastian for the first time. So I'm here for it. But then you can't even get past that or appreciate it because the dude can't dance. He can't move. How is it that we've been rocking to this dude for years? We've been rocking to Shaggy for years, yo. And he didn't have the girls shaking their ass and doing all kinds of things. And this dude is as stiff as a popsicle stick, yo, and frozen ice cream in the middle of winter on the continent of Antarctica, child. Under the sea, under the sea, a little bit of don't wear it, sweater, take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day, out in the sun, they slave away. While we devoting full time to gloating under the sea. And it's really the wardrobe. It's the wardrobe and it's the stage production and the manager. It's on them. Because y'all knew what y'all was trying to go out there and what the creative vision was supposed to be. So you got him out there looking ridiculous, okay? Ridiculous. He had no claws. It was his hands and a bomber jacket, and some red H&M pants. The only rhythm that we could find in this performance was from the Muppets, the little puppets, whatever you want to call them. The little animatronic puppets was rocking it. They was saving the day. They had rhythm. They had all the swag. I'm up here looking at it like, yo, Shaggy, what's good? You going to show up like, yo, you're from the islands, dude. Come here on the dishes, happy. Have soft shoulder with the flow. This is one of those times where we got to keep it all the way 100 and people need to stay in their lanes. This is the time where we needed to have the gays do this because the gays would have got up on that stage and would have danced and gave you one old pot of array and would have gave you four or five octaves and would have engaged and sang for the bleachers and projected and gave you one old performance. It's all cool. You had Shaggy. You had some star power. You get what I'm saying? Easy on the eyes. He has all his teeth. Colgate smile. Whatever, whatever. Here, legs from here to ya ya. I get all that, but you could have got you one old LGBTQIA LMNOP individual from the community to go up there and slay Sebastian and sing the house down and perform and give the kids what they need. I'm looking and reading articles about why he didn't have the claws on, and then they had the nerve to say that the claws look ridiculous. Did you not design the outfit? Did you not have dress rehearsals? Did y'all not prep for this? Did you not realize in the, in, 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 that they were ridiculous? Could you not have redesigned them or come up with something else? Was there no contingency? He ain't had no claws. He had no claws. He had no rhythm. And then he sat up there at the very end and going to sit up there and he was pleased with his performance. <laughs>
Let me tell y'all something about the Little Mermaid and about being a gay black man. And when I was a gay black boy back in the day, I'm going to keep it all the way real. I used to sit up there and get my life and be like, work, Ariel, work. Work, but I couldn't articulate it because I didn't even understand it. But I knew that when these songs came on, these show tunes or whatever y'all want to call it, I got my everlasting life. I wanted to dance and twirl and flip and dip and shawam and all that child, but I had to repress it and keep it on the inside. So now that I'm grown and now that I don't give two shits, it's they ruined the opportunity for me to be up in here, y'all, living my fantasies, child, under the sea, child, under the motherfucking sea and they ruined it child they like i said look i put the link to the performance so y'all can check it out y'all saw some clips or whatever but look what do y'all think of the performance how do y'all feel do you think that they tried to just incorporate too much did it fall flat for you do you think they captured the essence was it a great performance put all that in the comment section below i'm dying to hear what y'all have to say about this if you can please throw a like on the video subscribe and share it's greatly appreciated i'm jaded nerd I'll talk to y'all next time.